Dynamics in modeling. Okay, so we can import this match. This is in lesson eight. Okay, it's just a little match. And six on the keyboard, I'll weight shade it. I do not need it in high quality. And I'm just going to add a polygon plane below it. Okay. So here's the here's the deal. First modify center pivot it. What we have to do is figure out a way to take the take this match and duplicate it and put it on the ground in such a fashion where it looks random. Okay, so if I take this item and move it to the ground, I duplicate it, I rotate it a little bit, duplicate it again, rotate it. Now this works for about two to three items and then you're going to get to the point where it's not going to look random anymore okay it's always going to have some kind of pattern so that's where dynamics comes in and this really is handy for making chains making matches fall making sticks making rocks everything else the the total randomness in nature is really working out really well if you know dynamics within Maya so if I take this match how do I make it fall okay first off let's go to dynamics and always duplicate this don't okay once you put a rigid body on something it's very hard to copy a rigid body okay it's much easier to take and have everything in place and then add the rigid body across many items so I'll show you that here in a second so here I'm gonna add some gravity to this match which just basically makes it fall okay also I'm gonna put some actual frames out here I'm gonna put like 500 frames that way when I hit play it falls for a very long time now I wanted to hit this so I'm going to add a passive rigid body. Passive rigid bodies are just like rigid bodies in the fact that they have the only thing passive rigid bodies is the inability to calculate fields. And I'll show you that here in a second. So on this match now, if I go to here, I have rigid body. And you notice this one has a lot of things that could change. But this one has some grayed out. So I'm only going to show you a few of these because only a few are important for this lesson. So if I hit play, what happens? Well, it falls to the ground and starts twitching. Okay. Okay. Now, the thing is, uh, you got to use common world knowledge about the item. Does the item have bounciness? No, matches don't bounce very well. Okay. So if I hit play, however, you're going to still find that sometimes when it falls it's still at a state of distress so if you find that your item is still rocking back and forth that's dampening and dampening is the loss of energy so if you higher the dampening the faster it loses energy okay now that's not really too important in the fact that you know I don't care if it's twitching because what I want is a bunch of matches so let's let's do this let's take this item duplicate it and this time we're gonna duplicate it several times Okay, and etc. and so forth. The more you make, the greater this takes. So I'm only going to make a few, and I'm going to attach gravity to all of them. Now I already have a gravity field in here, so I'm going to show you something. In here, relationship editors, dynamic relationships. Here's all these. All I do is have to go through here and click gravity for every one of them. Now that's one way to do it, or you can just grab all of them and apply a new gravity field.
but I just want to show you the ability to add gravity to new items. Okay, if I hit play, they all fall to the ground. Except for this dud here. Let's see. And if if you have to stop it from calculating, all you do is hit escape a few times and it'll stop the calculation and you can rewind it. Okay, so I'm missing one. There it is. Now, with all these highlighted, are they really all highlighted? Well, yes, they all are highlighted because in here I have these highlighted. So let's go in here to rigid body and take the bounciness down and turn the dampening up. Now when I hit play, it's going to take an incredibly long time to calculate, but what will be nice is all these will kind of be randomly put on the ground and look a little bit better than sitting here trying to rotate, move, and manipulate each and every item. And you can see they're doing funny things. They're starting to move around. They're starting to do some crazy stuff. Now, why that is, escape, is you'll find that there's a huge thing going on here where even though I changed the bounciness and the dampening across all items, it really didn't work. Okay, and that leads me to the other thing I have to tell you that for each one of these you have to set them. <laughs> You're like, oh, that sucks. And it does suck because, you know, it's one of the things it'd be nice to be able to uh, copy them or do them all at the once. There we go. Also, the ground. Does the ground bounce? No. And there we go. We got a nice calculation. And if I hit stop, that is exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to be on top of each other and to look random. Now the rotation stuff. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to randomize them a little bit further using different kind of fields.